is everybody? Welcome back to the stream. Good to have you all back. Hopefully your Thanksgiving was good. If you are in a place that deserves Thanksgiving, if not Thursday or Friday, hopefully that was good for you. I got attacked by my stupid sister's dog, which was not a lot of fun. Uh, there's definitely going to be scarring on my left arm for sure, and it's all bruised up, right arm bit up too, so not a good time. Not at least for me. So, uh, yeah, hopefully yours went a whole lot better. Fortunately, though, uh, my new Elgato has arrived. So it works, which is nice. I mean, they sent me like a entirely 100% brand new Elgato, not a refurbished unit. It's like brand new sealed in the box, everything. So pretty cool. And it works just fine as far as I'm able to tell. So we're going to fire it up, get it going. So now I can have my lovely... PlayStation 4 streams and other streams and not have to deal with terrible, lazy, and like just lousy audio. So it's going to be awesome. I hope. Might have to do some reconfiguring though because I had set up my previous streams for Death Stranding with the uh, headset I was using which had the microphone on it. So I have to reconfigure it again to, to get things just right. So if there's any adjustments that need to be made for audio or anything like that, you'll definitely let me know. Interesting. So let's see. So there's a 1.06 update that came out. I actually had to update the game before I started stream. And it's supposed to like change things like your text size for like subtitles, things like that, so you can have them bigger on the screen and read exactly what it is. But I guess they didn't put it in this one because I'm not seeing any changes really. Also hoping that everybody got to buy some good deals on stuff, you know, Black Friday and all that shopping jazz, which is now started like a week before Thanksgiving and now like tend to run into, what is it, December 3rd? I've seen a lot of places like, yeah, so basically running through till like next Tuesday. It's bizarre, uh, but actually I picked up through Green Man Gaming, I believe it is, or Green Mountain Gaming, which I can't remember what it is, it was a Steam key for... Resident Evil 2 on PC for like 15 bucks, which was four or five dollars cheaper than what Steam had it for. So that was good. Oh, that's nice. They put in a little update like BTs cannot be scanned if you're standing up. And also from autotoxemia, which is like your baby dying from blood, basically like not having functional kidneys. Blood toxicity. Yeah, so it tells me like retrieve sticky guns. I tried this last time, but it just wouldn't quite work out for me for whatever reason. Like I went up there and they're like, yeah, we need sticky guns. It's like, um, excuse me, why, why aren't you going all the way through? Wonder if some people have completed, no, no, it's really added to the road. What a bunch of jerks. Experimental weapons has just been stolen by mules. They were scheduled to be delivered to Lake Knot City, but got picked off en route. The mules loaded them into their own vehicle and fled before help could arrive. And while we don't know their exact location based on eyewitness accounts, we've managed to narrow it to a small area. Track them down, secure the weapons, and deliver them to Lake Knot. Sam, got a critical request. A shipment of experimental weapons is okay. So it's installed by mules. Okay, so I gotta. They were scheduled okay. to be delivered to Lake Knot City, but got picked off en route. Yeah, you're gonna notice that Twitch is getting really, really bad because they're doing a lot of back end stuff, 
and it's they're basically I had a chat with one of the developers for everything going behind the scenes so um, yeah so they're doing a lot of back-end stuff a lot of quote-unquote improvements and, and everything else getting ready to do a big humans update for everybody across the board in five days and it's going to cause problems and it already is people's like my twitch streams have been buffering just randomly uh, other big streamers like huge streamers have had frames dropped on their servers or you know their their special servers because they're partners things of that nature so it's just it's gonna get worse for next two weeks so that's the downside of it got five thousand likes drink more beer oh come on you need that beer Hey, it's Nimix. Awesome. Streaming without drop frames is the best. Pardon me. Okay, so uh, I guess this is like a anti-drinking ad. Maybe it, just needs, a, maybe it needs to poop. I don't know. Check on the BB. You you want to fight? I'll fight you. Be like Tyson versus that one kid in the wheelchair. He just destroyed him. Yeah, Norman's Casey. I think he even injected it a little too much. So apparently I'm drunk. So which is the only way to get. My stamina back because all my monsters gone. I guess maybe they got a little too too many complaints, you know, from cardiologists saying that people's hearts will explode if they drink as much as Norman Reedus does in this game. So replace it with beer, a far healthier alternative. I'm drunk. I'm good to drive. I'm good. You, just, you, you, you don't know, man. You don't know. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. All okay, clear. so cargo was Welcome delivered by other people. Yes. It's like, be like when you drive. Sober even. Whiskey flavored synthetic liquor. <sighs> so I was looking like those uh, truck simulator games to see if they had like any major sales on all the stuff. But it looks like you have all the major stuff already to all so out of like customizations and. Another small DLC. So I got a you know, bola gun, stun bombs. Yeah, my truck is still here. Jeez. Like my old rotted out destroyed truck. Get the thing off the road. Oh, I'm dive out. I'm a stunt man. All right, so let's see. I don't think anybody's built onto my highway, which is kind of lame because. 
Last time I looked for a couple days, people had built onto the highway quite a lot. Like I did the first section of the road, and then they put out probably another good two or three sections. Okay, so this is where the road ends for now. It's a tight bolt shelter all the way out there. Yeah, Pokemon's always popular. I mean, that's not really a big surprise. Yeah, this is that time of the year where it's just like not that great. It's like you know, to release a game and have it stay popular just because everyone's trying to get in for the Christmas rush. You know, the holiday season sales and stuff, so... Let me adjust the audio slightly down a little bit more for the game. I mean, this is one of those times it's just hard to keep traction and keep it all going. So, I mean, you got all these different games that are coming out, so I'm not too surprised by it, to be honest. Well, I'm really surprised by, and I haven't tried it yet, though, is that the Pokemon games are actually, like, Pokemon Sword and Shield, I believe it's called, are already really well emulated on the Switch emulators. Already. Which is pretty crazy. Anybody hear me? Alright, so where is Mule Land? I think I cleared out these mules. No, I didn't clear out these mules over here. I cleared out the ones back here. And this is where I need to be. Of course! Going the wrong way. players actually because your roads can grade from the time fall it just takes a little while but the roads can go into disrepair and actually break you have to rebuild them entirely from what I've heard but nobody else has really been building them I mean I'm the only one building the road unfortunately so Oh, it's just sandals. Yeah, it's like, I don't know how many people are on it, actually. To be honest, at one time, I think that information's kind of kept secret. Like, they haven't told like, how people are actually connecting up to it, but it's like a single-player multiplayer game, which is like the weirdest thing ever. So it's like you have your single-player game like you're doing right now. But then it's all, you know, connected like multiplayer, like people can be in on your universe. anti bt handgun. Sticky gun. I already have one of them. Weapon fires a that runs attached to cargo. Can then be reeled in. Eh. I make a lax on targo in the target in the target area. Cargo in the target area. These sticky rounds have no effect on humans or BTs. So I got two bullet guns. Yeah, so I really it's it's a big question. I don't know how many people are connecting up. 
that would be kind of cool to see but i mean like you can all work with the same thing like people are placing other structures so when you unlock a chiral network for somewhere area like you progress the story you can unlock their structures in your game and vice versa so like 5,000 people were really up the roads that i built earlier How'd you get back up? <laughs> yes. Be like New York City and just charge like tolls every five minutes, every five miles or so it seems like. And they're like, oh yeah, these tolls go for a highway and they're totally not paying off the mob who pockets the money. No. It costs usually around 20, 25 bucks to drive through all of New York. Just for all the different tolls you have. Here they come. Stop you! All right. Where's the other jerk? Got like five out of six. You got a sticky gun part. Oops. Not cool, dude. Alright, let's try rebalancing cargo. I can't get everything I need here. Use the taxi and get the experience of dealing with the driver who can't speak English. Drives the slowest route possible as well as occurring clubs. Yeah, but... Let me tell you, try it in India. You'll probably break the sound barrier. You know, you'll step out of your cab after you've broke the sound barrier and driving the wrong way in traffic in this little scooter reaching at least two three hundred miles an hour which you didn't think was possible in those little things driver is not looking at the road he's just leaning back at you you see like gawking at the white guy talking like hello how are you yes i know this very place very well i can tell you where you can eat places and it's like please look at the road you're driving in the wrong side of the highway please look at the road Here's my bike. Like when you need to see and drive your bike, you really can't do that. And you, the bikes drive like you're drunk. Come on, back up.
Me, I can fly. Don't ask how bike physics work because they don't. What the hell is physics, said Kojima? Okay, so now I gotta go all the way back up to Lake Knock City, which is not hard. I just gotta get on the highway and stay on the highway. Yes, probably so because you can do it here on the on the road too. A Mary Poppins. That's not how physics work. My mom's to drive a motorcycle. She can tell you. Oh, cool. People are actually repairing adding materials to the auto paver so people are actually repairing my roads right now so that's pretty cool like i also like built this like road right next to like a whole bunch of mule camps That's a place to build a highway. I mean, you built a highway through East St. Louis. We can build one here. Yeah, that's actually one of the things that people are want because Kojima said like, hey, like we're the next like updates we're putting into the game are improvements that you guys have been asking for and like different feedback stuff. So like they're like, let us know what, we, what you want. And people actually requested the ability to use Spotify because it's actually you can use Spotify on just about every single PlayStation 4 game, but this one it actually blocks you from it. So people are like put that back in for like new game plus at least. Yeah, you know, like when you beat the game. Because you beat the game, you can actually just go back and keep playing other missions and make other deliveries once you're done. So people are like, at least for that, let us listen to Spotify then, you know. And the other ones have requested, like when you walk in the BT area, we have that 20 second cutscene where it shows your your Odorek popping out and and looking at everything and warning you that like, oh my gosh, BTs are in the area, and everyone's like, I know, get on with it, you know get rid of that as well so you never know i'm seeing like twitch buffering for me on my replay screen but i've not dropped any frames so hopefully i'm not dropping frames or anything crazy that's not showing up on And when you, another thing that's been requested is when you skip a cutscene, skip all of them because you just like skip one, then skip the next cutscene, skip the next cutscene, and then be done with it. It's like, just skip them all. Pardon me. Good work, Sam. The weapons you recovered are something the techs have been calling sticky guns. Anyway, none of this is on you. We should have kept a closer eye on them in the first place. Let's check the cargo. Great. Most of them are accounted for. Thanks to you, we've kept the damage to a minimum. Because I'm broadcasting at 720p, so...
Let me try something real quick. I'm going to drop down the resolution down to 720p, see if that screws up anything. Doesn't seem like it did. Change the window, window resolution size. We'll see if that works out better for you, T. Wallace. Even though I'm broadcasting 720p, the video stream was still 1080p, but trying to downsample. So we'll see if that causes any issues. It's just probably, like I said, I talked to the guy, one of the guys who were developing stuff for Twitch behind the scenes, and they're just telling me that it's just, it's been crapping out on them and, and everybody else, so. They're like, yeah, stuff's breaking. It's like, well, no kidding. Like, my window size said latency to broadcast for 51 seconds. It's like, really? Refresh that, and we'll see what it says here now. Three seconds. There we go. Yeah, so in order to make Twitch better, they spend weeks just breaking it ahead of time and then they're going to roll it out to everybody and then it's going to be pure mayhem game need the chain smoking monkey annoying lady who berates you and nonsensical dialogue with the lab guy who's in love with his mom and sister yeah they have a game like that already uh it's very popular you may have heard of it um it's one of the many kind of in a series where people have this open world freedom it's called minecraft you should definitely check it out Anybody who says Metal Gear Solid 2 is completely wrong, it's Minecraft. Team recording a game in test mode, trying to get them back rolling again. Yeah. And I said this stuff, I was like, like, I was giving them like feedback too. I was like, okay, here's where your stuff is breaking right now and where I can see it's a problem before you roll it to everybody. So he's like, okay, and then he like messaged me back. He's like, hey, I did these other changes. We're implementing them for the rollout for everybody. I'm like, that's awesome. That's cool. I'm for that. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal. Okay, emergency delivery, South Knot City. This is gonna move the story forward. down in South Knot City have had to suffer through a lot of terrorist attacks lately. Pardon me, I've never really been a fan of Minecraft. As much as you can of whatever you can. Food, oxytocin, the essentials. None of which can be sent by a Cairo printer. Okay, so people need things. Got it. Yeah, it's like I was never really into Minecraft. I had a... My last roommate was like super into it. He was also a stoner, so take away that what you will. But he's just like, oh man, it's so great. And it's just like, okay, you get blown up. I'm like, what's the objective of this? He's like, just build stuff. I'm like, okay, that's just not who I am though. I need like mission objectives like this game. Go here, do these things, you know, along those lines and I'm good. It's like people, there's certain kids, like you can give them a Lego. It's just a bunch of Legos and tell them to play with it. And they'll build you amazing things. And for me, it's like, I just be there like, well, what do you want me to build? You know, it's like, what are you expecting? And it's just like that type of people. So if you're the creative initially type there and like to explore and do things for yourself, then you'll love Minecraft. But if you're like me where you need objectives, not so much. All right, so let's take on this job. Speaking of Pokemon earlier, so in Pokemon, people are grilling and eating stuff. I don't see any cows in those games or anything, so I'm going to presume that they're eating Pokemon. Just saying. I don't have confirmation of that, but I'm thinking they might be eating Pokemon. Okay, I gotta change this back to 1080p because it's like it's blurry for me. I'm like, oh my gosh, my eyes are struggling to read this. Uh, resolution 1080p. Take the Elgato a second to freak out. Wrong size. Look at those shoes.
There we go. Now I can read things correctly. Horse ain't that bad. Uh, let's see. Hermetic grenades. I'm pretty sure I have those already. Sperm and eggs, sure. Okay, so I have hermetic grenades. I have one. Two stun bombs. See, attach the suit. Carry it on back, and then I have attached the suit. So I have hermetic grenades there, one, and I have two. So, shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, they really need to. I mean, there's a lot of things they need to improve in this game, and, and hopefully they were serious about doing things that we want to have done. Am I about to fight a boss? Sam Bridges, I presume? Sorry about that. The uh, system seems to be on the fritz. That's Higgs. Uh, one of the packages wasn't processed properly and got left out of the order. I recognize Troy Baker's Higgs, voice. The client is fragile herself. Someone double tagged it so the system couldn't tell whether it's for Fragile Express or Bridges. Anywho, really sorry for the hold up and uh, careful. The contents are fragile. <laughs> Okay. Are you guys hearing any like audio pops or anything? Like I'm hearing it seems like some clicks or something. Occasionally. Small thermonuclear weapon. I know it's a thermonuclear device and I'm carrying it. What? Pardon me. Yeah, so I I've been hearing like clicks and stuff and pops. Yeah, a few pops. So stream might go down. We're just gonna check some wires real quick. Uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, just plugged it back in the uh, HDMI cable. We'll see if that helps. Pardon me. No, what I mean, like, what's making Sam think, you know, this is a great idea. Let's deliver a thermonuclear device, a small thermonuclear device. You know, to people who tell, who've been telling me along the way that, oh, she blew up a city. She detonated a nuke in, like, in small, not city. It's like, why are, why are we doing this? Why am I agreeing to this nonsense? Subject, Middle Knot City got nuked. 
You probably heard Middle Dot City was nuked about a year back. Civilians, staff, everyone, everything gone in the blink of an eye. This was a terrorist attack. Demons doing their thing, assholes. Fried dog caught up in the holes. Best somehow, though I don't think she was, uh, was privy to the details. The story is short. They started screening devices or deliveries a whole lot more thoroughly. Uh, they made a difference. One tragedy after another. Lost half of South Nut City long after. So... Yeah, so like I said, I know that I'm carrying a thermonuclear bomb. This guy's like, dude, bomb, like, city's been nuked, and uh, Ragdoll's been blamed for that before. Which you've been hearing by people telling you that the entire time you've been playing game. You're just like, oh yeah, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll take this nuke. Why not? Okay, so in order to negate their ping, you have to do that at the same time, just about. Yeah, I would fall over, but I haven't saved recently, so... Can I save now? No. There we go, now we saved. That yeah, looks like a good place. Goodbye, everybody! Okay, so, uh... Nothing really happens. Nuke didn't go off, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I guess. Be ashamed to lose all those materials and stuff. So, I mean, it takes a lot to. It takes a lot to build up a highway, unfortunately. Yeah, he's not going to do it at all. He's in love with a woman who does not exist. Who I'm pretty sure caused this entire mess to begin with. Maybe I do not have the... Oh, that's right, I took it off my person, it's on the bike. The game freaks you out, it's like, oh, you don't have what you need to, to make the delivery. It's like, it's on your bike, it doesn't count it as that, as you having it on you. So it's not physically on your person. I can fly! And it looks like Twitch is having problems again. Let's see. Yeah, it is like super delayed. I don't know what it is. Hopefully you guys aren't having that chop. I really hope you're not. So I'm not dropping frames, but it looks like I have the Twitch buffer bug right again. 
Next, it says like I'm 84 seconds behind. Oh, you gotta love it. Is it all in the name of fixing stuff? They're breaking everything across the board again. Okay, so there's South Knot City. So I guess the easiest way is to kind of go over by the junk dealer. Yeah, travel down to this guy. Now we need to drive through Mule City again. So I'm sure this is all going to be like BT heaven right around here. I'm sure of it. Alright, so let's see where I'm at. Okay, recharge station. Weather station. Nah, not going to the weather station. Stop, please. Good God. Yeah, the breaks in this game are kind of a joke. Alright, 
Let's let's see. See where that goes. I didn't hear any pops anymore, so I'm hoping that the uh, reconnecting the HDMI helped fix it. Yeah, so that's all BT City. This is where all the uh, stupid BTs were. I had to go crawling through the city and try to find all that cargo for that jerk. So yeah, so of course it's on the way to where I need to go. So let's try taking Southern Route. cargo no we're not we're not throwing our cargo into the tar ocean just yet i have a feeling we're at the race back here with the nuclear bomb and throw it in here call me crazy but it's just a wild hunch i have okay well this actually looks to be a pretty safe location okay Here, the client is fragile herself. Uh, careful, the contents are fragile. Okay, but I'm hearing the pops again. What in the world? Let's try unplugging HDMI from the source. So I guess that was just like one too many bumps, or did it explode because I brought it to the city? I don't know. Okay, so that just seems to be like maybe one bump too many, I guess. Where's she at, anyway?
ID. Verifying ID. Is this really for me? Where's the... So it can't be that fragile because if I'm just climbing up a step. It can't be that. It can't be that crazy. It's got to be something like taking it to the city limits. my hypothesis let's run off a rock Yeah, it's just, as soon as I bring it into here, it's got to be blowing up. Think outside the box. They're like, hey, helpful hint, you can find Fragile in the private room in South Dot City. You know, basically where I came from, like, stopped just about. So, I'm gonna go here to the Tar Lake. I'm gonna say nuts to that, and I'm just gonna, like, throw the cargo in. I'm gonna throw that nuke right into the tar, see what happens. Enjoy your radioactive tar, everybody. Jesus, that was close. You saved the city and everyone in it. I love a lot more than I ever did. Maybe there's no way of saving Metal Knot. But South Knot's still here. Because of me and you. All right, this is really bugging me because I'm hearing a lot of audio pops and clicks. So hang on, I'm not going to restart the PlayStation 4. I think it's just a loose connection with cable. So I'm going to check one more thing, like the actual device itself. So if the stream drops, hang on, I'll be right back. We're not going to skip this cutscene. No device. It's fine. Let's see if it comes back up. 
Hold on, I don't fall for far. Just don't take good as I. Will it come back up? Looks like it's not, so hang tight. I gotta drop the stream real quick. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.